So if you guys don't know this already, Rainbow Six Siege added a test battle pass yesterday. By the time you see this, it will be yesterday. And so today, we're just going to kind of sum up what I think of it. And again, this is just a test version. This isn't their full version. So basically, it works like every other battle pass. You got your items. And while the items aren't that great, again, I'm assuming that's because it's a test battle pass. You know, it's just something to see how it goes. You know, throw it out there. And then when it actually comes out, uh, in the next season, it will be items that people actually want, at least I'm hoping so, because none of the rest of this even matters if the content in the Battle Pass is trash. So just assuming the content in the Battle Pass is good, let's go ahead and look at the rest of this. So we got Community Challenges in the next tab, and I don't really know what the reward for this is going to be. Hopefully it's not something stupid, you know, it could be... You know, a couple of tiers or something. You know, obviously right now it's something easy, like a kill amount, because it's just the test version. But hopefully the reward for that will be like a couple of tiers in the battle pass, or or like something exclusive, not in the battle pass, something worth doing it. Because I'm assuming that once the full one comes out, it'll be something more specific, like you know, kill a hundred drones as vigil or something, something like that. And I know here it says you get XP, but I'm hoping when the full one comes out, possibly you get rewards. But the final thing, this kind of just breaks down how you earn stuff. And and the only other thing I'm going to talk about here is on that far right where it says you kind of lose points or you, you don't gain points for leaving or team killing or any of that stuff. I mean, that might be a small barrier to stop people from like leaving matches and stuff is the main concern. But I don't think that's going to be you know, the next game-changing thing, and people won't quit anymore. But the only other thing I want to address with this battle pass is about how much XP you earn from playing. So these are both in casual, so I assume in ranked, you kind of earn more. But as you can see, this game, I did alright. I mean, I did halfway decent. Again, it's a casual game. But, so I have... I compared it, I tried to do really good and try really hard one game and then kind of just play like a normal casual game the next game. So I got what, 300 whatever points, about a quarter of a level, and I don't know if as you go on, the levels get more XP to earn, like the progression does in most things, or if it's the same amount of XP to level up each time. And then this is for me getting absolutely no kills, just messing around in a casual game to seeing how few points you get if you're not so great at the game. And as you can see, I got about half the points. And there's different bonuses for like winning and losing, obviously, but like for winning three in a row or flawless victories and all that stuff, there's different bonuses based off of different things you can do. And so really my thoughts, I mean, this is just a test thing. But as long as it's free, A, which, I mean, so far it's the test one, so you never know. But as long as it's free, the content in the pass is good. And the amount of XP, you know, needed to level up from tier to tier is is somewhat fair. Like, this isn't Fortnite where, you know, you can level up, you know, in 20 minutes, you freaking fly through a game. You got, you know, some of these ranked games, if you go into overtime, you're going 45 minutes. And I don't know about you guys, but I always go in overtime. So, you know, it's 45 minutes a game. So, I mean, for some people, it might just take a long time to level up. And hopefully, the community challenges kind of won't be something too ridiculous. They kind of keep it grounded and allow you to earn cool and interesting stuff while still keeping true to the game it is and not kind of deviating from the, the semi-realism they have laid down with what they have so far but you guys let me know what you think of this test battle pass obviously i'll cover the full thing when it comes out in the next season and comment down what you think subscribe follow me on twitter and i'll see you guys on the next one